Today in the lecture series of basics of data mining, I'm going to discuss some of the frequently asked questions. These questions can be, what is data mining? What is the need of data mining? Discuss the different types of data available for the data mining process. What can we do with the data mining? And what is the process of data analysis pipeline? So to start with, we have a question. What is basically data mining? Data mining is the use of efficient techniques, different kinds of techniques for the analysis of very large collections of data and the extraction of useful and possibly unexpected patterns in the data. It is basically a discovery of models for the data and these models can explain the data they can predict the future of the data. They can uh, summarize the data, interpret the data, and they can extract the most prominent features of the data. So basically, why do we need data mining? We have uh, tons of data available. So to uh, handle the huge amount of raw data, we need the data mining process. In the digital era, the tons of data is generated in a second. These data, uh, this data can be used by the mobile devices, the digital photographs, the web documents, uh, various uh, Facebook updates, the tweets, blogs, the transactions, surveillance data, the various query related data. And cheap storage has made possible to maintain this data. Second point is we have to analyze the raw data to extract a useful knowledge out of it to make an intelligent system. So we need the data mining in three point of views. First is a commercial point of view. Other one is a scientific and third one is the scale. Commercial point of view data means the data which is being used by the Facebook, Google, Amazon uh, for their commercial process. For the scientific, we have a sensor data, astronomy data, various network data. In the scale, we have the feature dimension, that is the amount and the complexity of the data does not allow the manual processing of a data. We need to automate the things, we need to automate the mining process so that's why we have to go for the data mining process. So different kinds of data is available. So third question arises, what is the different kind of data on which the data mining process is applied? We have the scientific data, which is used by the scientific process, uh, like as weather, astronomy, physics, genomics, biological data. Second is the huge text collection, that is blogs, Facebook posting, tweets, scientific articles. Third one is the transactional data which is used by the retail store records, the credit card records and so on. Fourth one is the behavioral data which is used by the mobile phone data, query logs, the various ad clicks, the various browsing behaviors. And fifth, last but not the least is the network data which is used by the social networks, the emails, the biological networks and extra. The Facebook is the example, which is bo which is all network, text, image, user behavior and transactional data. So what can we do with the data mining? Some of the examples are, we can generate the frequent item sets and the association rules extractions. We can go for the coverage. We can go for the various techniques of data mining, that is clustering, classification, regression. We have a ranking process, the exploratory analysis of the data. Fifth question arises, what is basically data analysis pipeline? Data mining is not only one step in the analysis process. We have a pre-processing step and the post-processing step. In the pre-processing step, the real data is very noisy, incomplete and inconsistent. So there is a requirement of data cleansing. After the data cleansing, which is done by the data mining process using various techniques like samplings, uh, dimensional reductions, feature selections, we are having a result data that is post-processing, after the post-processing. 
here the data is more useful to the data it's more uh, liable to the data and it is ha having the statistical analysis of importance visualization good visualization so basically pre and post processing are often the data mining tasks so this is all about the lecture series on basics of data mining for more lecture series and the frequently asked questions on the various topics you can like share and subscribe my channel learning thrust thank you